history makers. And at the heart of that incredible team was an incredible footballer, golden boot winner and player of the tournament. She creates goals and she scores them. Now she's helped the Lionesses raise to take their biggest prize, our sixth and final contender. It is the brilliant Beth Mead. Beth as a child, Beth as a child was a, a young lady that was full of energy. She wanted to be involved in everything. She wanted to take the corner, she wanted to head it, then she wanted to save it, then she wanted to kick it out and score the other end. She'd be throwing the odd megs in there, overhead kicks, and uh, no one could ever keep up. For me, football's always been my first true love. My mum sacrificed so much. She worked two jobs to pay extra petrol for my dad to drive me to training. I wouldn't be where I am today without them. 2021 was, um, yeah, it was a difficult year because obviously Beth had all the uh, upset with not getting picked for the Olympics. In the background, we were also fighting the battle with my mum. She had ovarian cancer. Nearly a year down the line, we found out that it was actually incurable. She's still fighting. The diagnosis with her mum, that was a trigger, I think, for her to show the world what Beth Mead is really all about. And I think in the Euros, she did manage to do that. Beth Mead, still going, it's Mead! Oh, that is sensational! I feel like every time I scored, it was like a surprise. And Beth Mead does have a hat-trick! I've known for a long time that Beth was a top player. The only person that needed to believe that was Beth. I don't think they figured it out. It was like, get it to Beth. She's done it again! Everything that touched her, her feet was golden. Goal number six for Beth Mead! She was a game-changer for a lot of those games. They'd won the Euros. She'd won player of the tournament, won the golden boot. I burst out crying, mum and dad were crying. We're just so proud of her. I'm doing it again. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna share all the moments with my mum for the rest of my life anymore. So to share that moment with her last summer was just incredible. Everything that Beth achieves, she's achieved it for us as a family and for her mum. Ladies and gentlemen, Golden Boot winner and player of the tournament, it is Beth Mead. <laughs> Beth, we saw there that it's been a tough 12 months for you off the field, which makes your performances during the, the, during the Euros on the pitch even more remarkable. Have you had a chance to take it in? And how proud are you of yourself for everything that you've achieved? It's not something I thought I would be possible um, of doing, but the incredible team that's just walked off the stage is the ones that got me through this part of me throughout, and I wouldn't have played the football in the tournament I w that I did without them. You just said about your teammates there, we heard Leah Williamson, Lucy Bronze, even saying that you don't even know what a good player, the player that you're going to become to be even more so after the Euros. Talk about your teammates a bit more and the support that they give you. Yeah, when Lucy Bronze talks, you listen. You do. It's not a good thing <laughs> to go against that what she says. But um, yeah, the girls are like a family away from home. And when things at home haven't been great, they supported me so well. And they were my family away from home. I know your dad's here and your brother. It was so great to hear from them. When you look back at that young photo, Beth Mead, it's got to come up in a minute. She's now a lioness. <laughs> Not a good friend, you <laughs> A European <laughs> championship winner, a new contract with Arsenal. Can you even believe it all? Still pinching myself. Um, I still think I need time to reflect and look at this year and what's happened, but I'm so grateful and so proud of what I've done and what my team's done. Well, you've inspired so many people over the summer, Beth, to want to be you, the next Beth Mead. Every young girl watching right now, what advice would you give them? I found that I played my best football this season, playing for the love of the six-year-old that started. So I would say enjoy every moment and don't forget the reason why you're playing football. 
It's glad to see you're not on your crutches. We yeah. know you have done your ACL. Mm -hmm. Laughing about your Instagram, actually, because we know <laughs> Viv's here, Vivian Miedemar. Yeah. She only gave you three weeks sympathy. I got three weeks sympathy and she thought she'd join in, so that was not ideal. So there's a few crutches around our house at the moment. Well, we know in everything that you do and that you both do that you're going to come back fitter and stronger than ever. We wish you all the best Thank you. with your recovery. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our final contender, Beth Mead. <clears throat> yeah.